Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings today. Because everything is upsetting, I thought we could do some nice comfort readings. We have three cards from the absolutely beautiful Oracle deck, Into the Lonely Woods by Dan May. So they're just, they're just, wait until you see them. They're just gorgeous. Even from the back, you can tell they're gorgeous. But anyway, we need some comforting messages right now. We really do. Things are very upsetting. Like, I can't handle what's going on right now. So we all need comforting. So I'm just, we've got three cards from this beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, feel into the cards. One of these has a comforting message that will be uh, just the thing you need to hear. Card number one, card number two, or card number three. I will put the timestamps in the descriptions, and I will see you there. Bye! Hello, card number one people. So I'm going to turn the card and we have our shadows are beautiful. So maybe there's a part of yourself that you have sort of shunned and sort of like tried to disown, but there's a lot of magic and power that comes from that part of you. So it's not something that you really can get rid of because it's you, but you can learn to integrate the parts that that part of you and when you do that the gifts that you get from that are going to be really 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 helpful so i'm going to throw down some runes to help talk about that start with the splash reading these are very subtle so i don't know if you can really make them out as well i'll talk about them anyway i made these years ago <laughs> But I thought they were just nice and soft and white and that they would go with the comforting theme. So our central issue here is Nauthi's reverse. Nauthi's is the rune of need. When it's reversed, it says, well, when it always means tend your needs, but when it's reversed, it means drop everything and tend your needs. So there's something that's going on right now where you, maybe you've been, been neglecting it for a long time when you were running, running forward, forward, forward. We have Avaz, which is the rune of the horse. So maybe you were just like charging forward, forward, forward. I might also read this as because Avaz, Avaz also has to do with spirit. And some people, especially when some people start out with a spiritual path, they sort of go into the whole love and light thing to the, to the exclusion of addressing shadow. And shadow is absolutely critically essential. You can't do the whole, there's, it, it balance is better. Balance is better. Um, love and light is great. Um, you can totally do that. There's nothing wrong with it. But um, eventually you do need to address shadow because, you know, love and light where it shuns shadow is a problem because that's part of you too. So you do need to integrate that. So you're galloping forward, 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 and now it's like, I have to drop everything and tend this because this is going to be a problem if I don't. Um, what is going to help you is focus on joy. Focus on your joy like let your joy guide you. <laughs> I'm going to throw down a couple more on this line. Yeah, because through that you're going to access your strength, your inherent strength. Um, what isn't going to help is we have Kana's reversed and we have Isa. So like closing off to shadow is going to lead to a total standstill, a group of stagnation, like things will not be moving forward. So that's not going to help you. Um, if you're going to drop everything and tend this need, um, and basically this is a, an emergency at this point, you're going to find the common ground of joy with your shadow and, and just basically let your shadow lead you. And through that, you're going to connect with your strength. Um, it's all you. So follow your joy. <laughs> let your joy guide you. Um, and what this will lead to is a real integration. We have uh, Gabo, which is the rune of the gift. It has to do with an exchange. Um, if it's one-on-one -on -one with anything here in this particular situation, it's you and your shadow integrating and sort of it's agreements, decisions, and goals. So it's sort of, you know, just agreeing to, you're, you're agreeing to <laughs> come together and uh, integrate in this case. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, very nice. Um, What's going to help you here is that once you start to do this and once you've connected with joy, there is going to be a great revelation happening with that. It's like alchemy and it's, it's, it's the breaking of the day. So we have Dagaz, which is the rune of the breaking of the day. And this goes along with Uru's, Uru's as uh, the strength and health, which is what feeds into your joy or vice versa. You, through your joy, you access your strength and health. Um, and this great 
this great revelation will then happen for you. You'll make this realization when you're connecting with your shadow and how integrating with it makes you more than who you thought you ever could be. What won't help is there's going to be some regret. There's going to be some feeling of why didn't I do this years ago? Um, how much time have I wasted and how little time I might have to enjoy this? So that could drag you down. Um, also, you're a little bit worried about what might come up from this because you've been sort of shunning the shadow for a while, maybe. Um, but mostly this is this is very, very good. You're integrating. It's very, very good. And what this will help you with the most is communication and expression. We have um, Algis, which is sorry, Ansus, which is the rune of communication and manifestation and expression. So because you will feel more whole, um, you will be able to express a lot more beautifully and a lot more um, fully and a lot more bravely than you were before. So that is your comforting message. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. <laughs> Bye! Hello card number two people! So card number two people, let's turn this and see what your comforting message is. Honor your holy days. Everybody, you know, what? even if you follow um, even if you follow a set religion, you will have days that you need to give honor to that aren't even a part of that. Days that are just really your own. Um, there are always significant days that everybody has. And don't think that your own days are any less significant or any less valid um, as holy days than the ones that are dictated by your community or uh, religion or anything else like that. So basically, do honor the days that are holy for you, regardless of whether this is an outside thing or something that is personally holy for you. So let's get some runes. Okay, we'll see what the runes have to say about this. And I'm going to throw down the same shape of reading that we did before because it worked <laughs> really nicely. These are runes that I made myself many years ago. <laughs> this is the first set of handmade runes that I made personally myself. I thought they would go nicely with these comfort readings because they're soft and white. So just gentle, gentle, squishy looking runes. Um, so your central issue is we have Avaz, which is uh, Avaz reversed. So Avaz is the rune of the horse. Um, reversed it has to do, well, Avaz always has to do with movement and spirit, but reversed it has to do with not running around so much and also inner spirit. So inner movement, inner spirit. I'm sort of seeing the inner movement, inner spirit thing where you're following an inner, it's a holy day. So this has to do with personal faith, personal, um, what is personally sacred, uh, the personally numinous, and uh, you're basically turning inward and letting that carry you and letting that lead you. Um, leading up to this, this is basically a decision where you are, we have uh, Algis reversed. Algis is the rune of protection and support. It is reversed, so it's you supporting yourself. Um, you're able to stand up with that, and you're basically saying, okay, I'm gonna move within, I'm gonna let my inner spirit carry me and guide me, and we're gonna honor uh, what is personally holy to me. Um, what will help you here is we have Lagus, which is the rune of the lake, uh, emotion, intuition, and especially heart in this case. Uh, you're going to let your heart guide you. You're going to let your heart lead. Uh, listen to your heart. It sounds cliche, but if you ever actually do it, you'd be surprised. <laughs> so it's like clickbait. It's like, ask me how. It's like, no, no, just do it. Just do it. Um, don't ask me how. Ask you how. Ask your heart how. Um, and through that, you will connect to your true inner nature. We have Hagalaz, which is the rune of the hailstorm. It has to do with weather in terms of uh, the uncontrolled, uncontrollables, and chaos, but it does have to do with natural forces, and in this case, it is yours. So connect to heart, let your heart, let your heart guide you, let your spirit guide you, and this will connect you with your true inner nature and let you be truly you. Um, what doesn't help is it's like you feel like this isn't as important or isn't going to be seen as important to other people, which like don't listen to them for that. But but basically it feels like the needs of the outside world and the outside world's requirements of you 
are going to be like more important and more overwhelming and are trying to fill your entire field of division of uh, your entire field of vision so we have Nowthies, which is the room of need um, which is underneath uh, just the overwhelmingness of Dagas which is the breaking of the day so it's like um, everybody's it feels like everybody's clamoring for you and trying to fill your entire field of vision and you, this is all the more reason why you need to honor your own personal holy days because this connects you with your true inner nature through which you can come forward with greater strength on all levels so if this starts to drag you down go no you know what this is exactly why I'm doing this so connect to heart connect with your true inner spirit and let your spirit carry you um, through this and do the movement inwardly for this what is going to help is and what your next step is we have Vunyo reversed which is the rune of joy on the path line um, it's 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 almost like it's saying let yourself experience sadness but also connect to your deep inner joy. So this is a way that you can connect to your deep inner joy, um, as well as honoring the sadnesses. Um, and this, what will help is give yourself the time to do this. Give yourself the stillness for this. We have Isa, which is the rune of ice. It has to do with uh, standstill, stillness, um, also clarity, the clarity that comes from that. So you've already made that choice, that step to, you know, turn inward and connect to heart and connect to your true inner nature. So give yourself the this, this stillness to do this. Clarity will come through. Uh, you'll be able to honor what your sadnesses are as well as connect with your deep inner joy. What won't help is it's going to feel, again, overwhelming, um, not just from the outside, but just basically what you're doing. It's like, it's you're, it's not something you can ever practice for okay this is something that it's no matter how many times you do it you're going to be encountering it like it's a new world so it's going to be new ground there will be familiar things because it's you but you're always going to be encountering something that you you can't prepare for so it is a little bit overwhelming before you do it like it, it's from the outside it's overwhelming but once you're on the path and once you're giving it the space and stillness that it needs it just happens. It's very, very natural. And what this will lead you to, you'll get a lot out of this. You're going to get a lot out of honoring your own personal holy days. Like it is going to be a harvest for you. Lots of nourishment, lots of profitability for your life as far as making your life rich. Um, and it's something that you are going to make into a seasonal kind of thing. It's something that you are going to put on your calendar to do. And well, you should. Uh, sorry, Yira, harvest and time. So that is your comfort reading card number two, people. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, card number three, people. So let's turn this over and see what your comfort message is. The ending that opens the space for the beginning. Okay. So for you, something is in your life ending and it's a good thing like it's it's a good thing like even though it's an ending and it's something you're letting go of um it's something that is clearing space for you to to allow for new things to come in which is really 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 beautiful um you know <laughs> and while i'm laying these out i'm going to tell you a funny story that a few a few years ago several years ago back when we still had offices um i was in the office and somebody had done something disappointing and i said well i don't have any faith in humanity anyway and then <laughs> I said to myself, well, what do I have faith in? And immediately I answered myself, entropy. <laughs> and then I laughed for like 10 minutes because it's true um, that everything from the moment it starts, it, from the moment it starts to be is already deteriorating. And so this is one of the reasons why we always have to be bringing in new magic into the world so that even though things have their season, they come, they, they, they bloom, they, they, glow, they bloom, they grow, they close, they die. There is always something else. And so there's always a new beginning after the ending. Well, it's like a much better story is the old, of course, ancient story about the, the wave. Um, beautiful wave, and it gets to the end of the ocean, and then it's not a wave anymore, and it goes back to the ocean, and there's more waves. Okay, the ending that opens the space for the beginning. So you so our central issue here is we have urus reversed urus is the rune of the wild ox and it has to do with strength and health reversed it has to do with i am going to say inner strength and inner health but also maybe it's like letting go because sometimes urus has to do with stubbornness so 
it's sort of an allowing things to, to, to just let go, like letting go of this pretty balloon in the picture. Um, leading up to this, there's been a completion. We have um, Yira, which is the rune of harvest and time. So it's it's sort of like, it, among other things, it's, it's sort of, there has been a completion. So now you don't have to be stubborn about it. You don't have to cling to it. You can just let this go. Um, you're freeing it. You're freeing this thing. Um, and at the same time, you know, you have your inner strength. You don't actually need the thing anymore, so you're allowing it to, to, to go. What is going to help is we have Isa, which is the rune of ice, stillness and clarity, and we have Sovilo, which is the rune of the sun, which is source energy. And what I'm seeing is to be still and let your source energy, let your source nourishment um, shine through the clarity that your stillness is giving. So give this a moment to honor the ending that is going and allowing the, the new beginning to happen. And the stillness brings clarity and through the clarity shines the sun, uh, which, which in its time will melt the ice so that you can move forward again. But right now you're giving it the time. Uh, right now it's the clarity of stillness that the, that the source energy and the, and the nourishment is flowing through uh, as you let this go. So it's something flowing in, something being let go and something flowing in. Uh, and in the meantime, you're giving it the space and the stillness to, to happen. What doesn't help is, okay, you are still feeling like clinging to a certain extent. We have Gabo, which is the rune of agreements, decisions, and goals. It's the gift. It's the exchange. Um, so there is cert a certain thing like you had a plan before and now you're letting this go. Like it's something that you had agreed about before and it's something that was a part of sort of what you had planned you are now letting this go. So you're still, there's part of you that, what, if anything can drag you down, it's worrying about letting go of that. Um, and underneath that is just the worry about being unhappy. We have uh, Lagu's reversed, which is the rune of emotion, intuition, and heart. It's the lake. Um, it is reversed, so it's on the lowest line. You're sort of worried about negative emotions. You're worried about being overwhelmed by them, uh, sort of drowning in them. And what it feels like the only thing that's keeping me from being miserable is clinging to this thing, which is sort of my foundational thing. Right now, there's other things that can nourish you. Like you are not, this isn't the only thing. And letting go of it will actually allow the good nourishment and the, the fresh nourishment and the fresh energy to flow in as long as you give it the space and the time and the stillness to do so. And you do that in this step of letting go. So your next step is now you're going to basically pick up at this on your next step the ice will have melted you are nourished and you're going to move forward um we have this is the new beginning so you're setting forth into the new beginning we have tivas uh tivas is tears rune tears the warrior god he doesn't all the time have to do with um riding forward and being warlike he has to do with tending duties and responsibilities and even to the point of sacrifice we're not going to get into that at this point um but that's part of it um Basically, at this point, the ice is melted, you've done the letting go part, now you're setting forth into the new beginning. Um, what's going to, picking up your sword and going forward to tend your new duties and responsibilities. What is going to help you with that is we have Thurizaz, which is the rune of the, um, the challenge. It's the, it's the thorn, the giant, the gateway. It is open, it's an open gateway, it's not going to be an impossible challenge, but it's your thing to do. So what this is saying is embrace the new challenge. This is something that like you've let the other thing go because okay, so now it's clear the ending has open space for the beginning so now this is clear this is your new challenge embrace it embrace it with all your heart immediately you know pick up do your duties by it what isn't going to help is it's funny because like you're still you're still feeling like you, you're not moving forward. We have uh, Avaz, which is the rune of the horse. The horse has to do with movement. It is reversed and it's on the lower line. So it's sort of what won't help you is not moving forward. You're going to be sort of still in a state of stillness. And, you know, beginning is like the hardest step. So just begin. Um, begin, you're going to still feel like that inertia thing where you haven't been moving because you're watching the ending happen. But now the beginning is upon you. So embrace the challenge, move forward. Uh, on we go. And what this will do for you is we have Othala, which is the rune of the home and the homeland. It's, it's sanctuary. It's like a new, 
a new home for you. This It's your new comfort zone. Once you get started into it, you're going to settle into it really, really nicely. This new beginning, it's going to become very, very comfortable for you to the point where it's going to become your new sanctuary. It's going to become your new solace and uh, your new protection and your new joy of home. <laughs> it's going to be your new home. So this is wonderful. So here, that's your comforting message. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.